<laughs> so like what 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 I definitely want to know is like the early stages of TikTok, right? Right. You just have this battle of wanting to go viral so bad versus being who you genuinely are because it always has it always have the the view count the viral people pinning that they get 100k views on the on the profile page and all kind of things like did you have that that battle that internal battle of jumping out yourself so much that you're trying to be famous versus just figuring out who you are and being consistent aka did you ever dance on tiktok I think I danced on TikTok probably once as a joke, you know. Oh, so like what it is I did was like I took like a picture of like an anime pee and pixelated real plenty. And yeah. there was like a, a dance called like Too Hot Fun or something. And it was like just I like do, of, yeah. it was of like this anime girls like shaking their way side to side. So like I, I put the, the pixelated pee on me and was just doing that. So that's the only dance it is ever I did on TikTok. Okay. But that wasn't for the views. That was actually um troll them. That, yeah, that was just trolling. Yeah, I was trolling, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but like for me, I don't feel like it has ever felt like any type of attachment towards like, I guess, fame in a sense. I think Trinidad is relatively small, so it's easy to, I guess, make it, you would say. For me, it's always been, you know, like I started on content creation when I was 17. And, you know, when you're going through phases in your life that, that early, you're just really learning yourself, you know. Pretty for much, me, pretty much, yeah. For me, I was just upset that it is that I wasn't getting like a lot of brand deals now and I just didn't understand what was going wrong and why. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 I get you. I just didn't care about like much of the views or anything. Like I was just like, I hate that trend. That is just such a space that I guess like, in the influential culture around is, is only like recently that it is that it started to come up. That it just it's just so hard to get sponsors and to be monetized as a creator through that side now because i mean tiktok i mean the creator fun is nothing mm-hmm. people in china don't really have like a culture of watching youtube videos and on top of that you have to wait till the threshold passes like 100 usd and then that's like nothing um so for me i guess like the bulk of many creators you know the income is sponsorships and boy like i was just vexed that i wasn't getting sponsorships so that and on top of me dropping out of school and not knowing what it is i was doing and i was trying to like apply for jobs and stuff I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make my own business. So that's where like infectious technologies, that um, side business idea that I have that's came the from. PC, um, that's the PC part something, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that on Instagram. I think you post a video about that and I went and checked it out and I was like, oh, look, uh, she is actually making money. I mean, when I when I say that, <laughs> no, no, no. Because I, I, cause I know exactly what you're talking about. Eh? Like yeah, yeah, people yeah. just have this pipe dream, but this pipe dream and about, I mean, you know, as you are saying, being someone that's 17 and must have been rough, you know, you know, going through, you say, you drop out of school, but you create, you created the business, you know, and then you started streaming. So I saw on the, on the outside looking in was your parents, you know, want to know what's going on with you. you we said your life. We said your life. You're good for nothing, child. I, 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 well, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Nah, 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 Some parents nah, nah, might, be supportive. you know, be supportive. Some might, might they, they probably don't understand it, you know. They don't understand the streaming culture. That could be a way to make money and a career and stuff like that. So, like, my mom stopped paying the bills when I was 17. My mom is mentally ill. And out of the blue one day, she just stopped paying bills and she stopped buying groceries. And I was just there like, well, what's going on here now? Like, what am I supposed to do? So, I think that was, yeah, in part to do with me dropping out of school. It's probably like her reaction to it or whatever. Um, but that income from the business was really just helping me like sustain the household in general because I mean it was hard for that time being and my mom just didn't understand what it is I was doing like my mom doesn't understand a lot of things in general when it comes down to anything online like my mom doesn't know what whatsapp is like from all the way back then mm. all that she knows is the internet is bad stay off the internet Right, right, right. But then yeah, it's like, yeah. why you was paying the bill for so long all these years now? <laughs> you know? So, you know, then, then I started to have to pay that bill. Because I guess like she was like, oh, well, you can use internet for school, but don't, don't use it for nothing else, you know? So when I dropped out of school, it was kind of like, okay, you want to use internet? Pay the bill. But she didn't say that directly, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then she would slowly stop paying, like, you know, the electricity bill. And, you know, you just sit down there like, who is that one, no, mom? So, um, 
even so, this was so, well, you, you, that. yeah you mentioned internet so you know we there's always some generic questions we have to ask and because you're from south was your download speed on your upload speed 100 upon 100 down consistent all the time because it's digicel yeah because it's digicel all right okay. and you yeah and you're in a place not where she i'm living right <laughs> no boy she i'm living in point boy like he uh, looked yeah. for that he looked yeah, for that yeah yeah, 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 yeah so we'll always refer to that because that was that was my first moment that i felt privileged I literally felt like, wait now, nah, I live in I live in a good life without people out there seeing twenty five and happy. Yeah, and when you like, say you have to yeah. do, you have to go outside. You have to go outside and put it on the roof or something. Yeah, roof. All <laughs> can I, all, all can I, you run a cat fire from one house to the next house. All can I drama and thing you say? But yeah, anyhow, yeah, yeah. hundred upon hundred down. All right, cool. And you, you um, you live in there. No, no biggest issues in terms of outages and that kind of drama. Nah, not at all. When you live close to San Fernando, I mean, what by city corporation? They treat you nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do a TikTok about internet speed and I think you'd um you'd stitch it or some kind of thing. So in my research of um tracking internet speed, <clears throat> like I did a survey a couple of years ago, yeah. um digital is the most stable. It is alleged. Yeah, yeah. I I, I concur, I agree. I, um, I I will always I, say I, though, like internet providers in this country is like you're choosing the lesser of two evils, but like it depends on your area too. So yeah, it's the like area, if you have yeah. a money, you dog, like it's good, but it depends on the area. Correct. Like I'm there is do good in the east, but I'm there is do bad in south, you know? Yeah, that's what I find too, but I never, I don't bother to get into that anymore. Like, <laughs> like if I ever post a, a speed test video, I'll just laugh at the comments because everybody will just come there to flex. And I, I know enough about networking and stuff to know that yeah, your speed might be that now, but at peak times, you may, right, depending on where you live in, like it has certain metropolitan areas, their peak times so bad. No matter how, how fast it is, 4 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, you're going and get 15 and you can't mm. do anything about it, depending on how, um, how, 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 the, how the place set up because it's fiber, quote unquote, yeah. Yeah, yeah, quote unquote, until the shark by the cable in the, in the ocean and that is there. Now we, we, we passed that, we passed that. Nice. All right, well, cool. So we, we, we know about you. So, all right, let me understand. What you're real passionate about? Like if we ask it, if, if we ask it to talk about something with respect to technology right now, what you're passionate about right now at this point in time? Oh, definitely using AI so I don't have to do any type and of job for myself. That's not how to get the DJ Khaled, another one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because um, Darren said that too. All right, so AI, tell 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 us uh, like tell the people how how you do you use AI? How do you plan to use AI? Because everybody using AI, um, yeah. but some people have different use cases, and you may have a very special one that we didn't know about. So let me hear. Oh me, do 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 use me as a reference or nothing, boy. I just literally <laughs> talk to the AI like it's a person, right? <laughs> I just have like full on conversations with the AI in itself. Now. There's certain like prompts, like you will encounter this on Instagram, where people have like the cheat sheet um, prompt, yeah, yeah, yeah. the prompt course, properly, right? Yeah. So I would do it sometimes in certain situations if it is like I want to like close out a business deal and for a fact, like I know it is like I have to leave here for something. It's like, okay, act like yeah, um, right. the person it is like I'm going to propose to the business idea with and um, you just, you know, you run through the scenario with me. So then I'll come up with like different scenarios and think like run through different scenarios. Like if it is I was to do this, if it is I was to do this. So when it is like I go into the actual situation now, I just they're like, oh, okay, well, this is like the, the possible, you know. And they're strictly chat GPT here. or are you using um, bad too? No, 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 I would use chat GPT. I don't have time to like go and explore the rest of the AI tools and things now. Like I know like there's AI that will literally like you can throw out entire podcast and then it will chop it up and thing, which is what probably all you're going to do here. You know, <laughs> I would like generate like about why, 10 clips. Why are you trying to get any secret sauce? I don't want to sound good about you. <laughs> no, but I tell you that, that, that is what it is. Yeah, that is yeah, what it is. Yeah, it would do that. It, it, it so, is possible. Um, cause well, yeah, I've explored many different AI things already and some of them things working like a charm right now and I don't know what I'll do without it. But, um, for you, you, you said business deals. So like, yeah. um, contracts and agreements and all them kind of thing. ChatGPT is your friend. Like, peace out my contract is holy copy and paste ChatGPT. <laughs> <laughs> and people read the contract and be like, hey, there's a pretty good contract. And I was like, okay, so like this entire section here is ChatGPT. Yeah. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, those do that well. Some of my contracts, 
chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. You know? uh, no. All, I, all you're saying, some, all, all of my contracts, <laughs> all, every single nah, contract. Now, all of mine is too. So, like, I had, like, a radio station. They were signing one of my contracts at the time. And, like, they was like, hey, it's a pretty good contract. We get this from. I was like, oh, I just have some good lawyer friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or when you when you have a contract and then you run it through and you say, okay, please go through this contract and tell me if there are any um things that are missing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I will normally take a contract and generate it in ChatGPT and then put it inside Bard and ask Bard to critique it and then take whatever Bard gives me and to ask ChatGPT to critique it. And I like, hey, I winning at this world, boy. I winning in this world.